Taco Bell really out here trying to get us lit. What is up everybody? It is your girl, me, if you don't know me, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to this channel. If you are just clicking in and have no idea who I am and seeing this face for the first time, my name is Nee. very nice to meet you. Hopefully you are doing well. I am sending you guys good vibes, good energy, good health, and good luck in everything you do. You like my backdrop? My hair has also changed and I love it. Shout outs to my sister. I'm gonna be doing a taste test, and something special about this taste test is Canada, we finally have an exclusive item that the US doesn't have before us. Taco Bell released a wine. Wine. It's only available in Canada. Finally, something that Canada has before the US. I mean, like the Popeye's chicken you guys got, we never got it until like a year later. Um, you guys have the Travis Scott burger. We don't have that here in Canada. Anyways, I am gonna be ordering this on Uber Eats, the limited edition, and there's only a hundred bottle so hopefully I can get my hands on it pray to God apparently it's been out for like a month now but they just restocked it get me on uber eats 10 a.m. about to order Taco Bell for lunch Ooh. I mean, do a lot of people know about this I okay I ordered the chalupa and the wine and everything cost 40 something dollars you guys it arrived Wow it doesn't even look like Taco Bell packaging but it says Jalapeno Noir 2018. Check her out. I'm not gonna drink all of this. It's from St. David's Bench Vineyard. Cheesy Chalupa Estates. Isn't that freaking cool? Say what? I can't believe it. I ain't no wine connoisseur. I've only drank wine like a few times. I don't drink wine very often, so I'm not the right person to be taste testing, wine tasting, and judging on this, so please forgive me on that. Bought this because it's cool, it's from Taco Bell. I am of age, so I'm allowed to, and why the heck not? Oh my god, I'm so excited. We got more food. The bottle already came with the toasted cheesy chalupa. I also got some Supreme fries, some drinks that the US already had. This has been out in Canada for like a year now. And I am now trying it. Did you guys even know that they got rid of the apple empanadas? I did not know that. They replaced with these cinnamon balls that I'm actually gonna try for the first time too. So I should change since we're drinking wine. We gotta be a little more classy. I'm gonna do one of those freaking jump shots. <laughs> Going for that classy vibe. We're gonna have some wine. We're gonna have Taco Bell. It is already melting so we gotta get drinking. Orange Crush Baja Blast Cream Soda. Excited for this blue one right here. First. Oh, orange soda for real. The fizziness is not quite there anymore because it, I guess because it's in the slushy form. Sweet. Very sweet. Oh, that's very sweet. <clears throat> they didn't have the pineapple slushy. Maybe that is just the US. Tastes like the Slurpees from freaking 7-Eleven. It melted a lot already. This is why I'm doing these drinks first. Oh, that's pretty good. It's less sweeter than the other Crush ones. Out of all of them, I think I like this one best. The Baja Mountain Dew Blast. Classy. Classy. Movies. That's it. Yeah. Wine from fast food restaurant. Holy crap. Can't believe this is from Taco Bell. Is about to drip. So apparently this is one true pairing. The OTP Taco Bell is trying to sell for. The can we say the toasted cheesy chalupa? Oh my god, it looks so good. 40 bucks all together. My friend let me borrow his for display. I opened mine clearly here, so I can't resell it unless someone wants an open bottle. I wonder how much I could actually sell it for. Let me just read at the back to see how they are selling this. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. We say absence makes the heart grow hungry. I'm hungry right now, I'm just smelling this. The toasted cheesy chalupa 
and jalapeno noir romeo and juliet oh damn sounds so romantic hmm meant to be together right wine and cheese they got the cheesy part on the outside here, there's cheese in the chalupa. That's why I kind of get that they trying to sell these together. But would these two be good together? We'll see. Imagine lonely cheddar aging for six months all alone, developing its deep, complex flavors. Just sitting there in a fridge or cupboard or wherever cheddar is aged. Think of this bottle in a dark cellar getting old, getting in touch with the delicate layers of strawberry, cherry, and spice. Finally, you have the chance to make it right, to bring them together in your stomach like Cupid and weird. Weirder? What? No, like Cupid, but weirder. I would eat anything with wine to be honest. I like a steak with wine, but I've tried it with chips, junk food, you know. I'm sure it'll be good with comfort food. Romeo and Juliet, okay? Wow, that was such a story. That's how they are selling it, reading from the back. This glass is not the right glass for wine. You want the ones with the stem at the bottom because if you hold it up, the temperature of your hands will warm up the wine. What I'm just gonna do, is swirl it around. I'm gonna try to keep my fingers at the top so it doesn't warm it up. I probably poured too much wine in this glass. There's strawberry, cherry, and some spices. It smells just like wine. I don't know. I don't know my senses. Can I imagine it? Strawberry, cherry, spice. I can't. I can't. It just smells like wine. Red wine. I don't know. Pick these up. Oh yeah, you're supposed to give it a good sniff like... I mean, it's not that hard to drink. It's not like overly tart. Girl, this is why this taste test is not for me. I only bought it because it was looking cool. Chunky looking taco. Look at this. Look, the juices are dripping and soaking up that shell. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh. I like this. It's not the hard shell tacos. It's like a fried pita. Mm. It's oily too. That's from the cheese. Mm. Oh yeah. That oil is like soaking up my mouth. I can taste the Taco Bell beef, the sour cream, the of course, the lettuce and tomato gives it a nice, fresh taste to it. So I feel less bad about eating this. Diet's over. Now I'm going to chase that down with some wine. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess it cuts the grease. Okay. Yep. Mmm. I guess they sold these two together because it would be weird to sell it separately. But I get why they chose the wine and cheese type of concept and made this really cheesy. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to finish this. But it's very good. I'll probably still drink the wine with whatever I'm eating. I'm bringing in. The fries supreme, how can I not get it? There's tomato, sour cream, and cheese. And I think I see some onions on there. They used to have the green onions. A bed of fries is just sitting on top there. And I'm sure inside you would see some of the ground beef. Oh yeah, right there. You can't really tell, but it's there. I got cold. I'm soggy. No. Okay, last but not least, 
We got dessert. These are called the Cinnamon Delights. I am so sad they got rid of the apple pie or the apple empanadas. It was so good. They look like Timbits, which are like donut holes. It probably will taste like a Cheerio. Oh, there's something inside. Mmm, crunchy. And inside is a nice cream or custard. It is a cream cheese filling. That's pretty good, but not as good as the apple pie. I missed it. It was like caramel too. Mmm. I'm not thinking about it. Mmm. Comes in four. I ate two of it. Oh. It tastes more acidic with sweets. Better with the taco. I am so full. I think I'm done with my meal here. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you enjoyed and would buy this just for the sake of it because it's from Taco Bell. Comment down below what is your favorite thing to get at Taco Bell. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and also turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video, more videos coming and uh, excuse me. That was not classy of me, especially drinking wine and wearing a dress. But whatever. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.